Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Kevin Prince here from Drummer101.com. And this lesson, I want to talk to all the new drummers about how to get the sound you want out of your drum set. Um, I know when you're very, the very first thing is when you start, your immediate intention is to, and desires are to make this instrument sound as exciting as possible. And that's really hard to do when you don't understand the subdivisions and your different note values. So what we're going to be doing in this lesson is just playing a simple backbeat, but we're going to be premeditating in our head, thinking of the 16th notes and counting them out loud. So I'm going to play really soft. I got my metronome set to 65 beats per minute, and we're going to play just a soft backbeat, and then we're going to count over that in 16th notes, just so we can start to feel the 16th notes and kind of predetermine what our drum fill is going to sound like. So here we go. One and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Now Doing that allows you to set yourself up for the 16th note fill. If you are playing 16th notes, you can practice this and exercise this with all your different subdivisions, 8th notes, 8th note triplets, 16th notes, 16th note triplets, 32nd notes, you name it. But what we need to do is practice that and practice counting and practice thinking of the fills and speaking the fills rather than playing them. Because if you're trying to play something on the drum set, and you're going from eighth notes, and all of a sudden you're counting eighth notes, then you're counting sixteenth notes, you might get some speed variations there. It might speed up, it might slow down. You want to make sure that you have the smoothest transition possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to play that again, and we're going to count sixteenth note triplets, or sorry, sixteenth notes, and then we're going to go to eighth note triplets, which is one and a two and a three and a four and a. So we've got three notes per beat. So you can count it one triplet, two triplet, one and a, two and a, one, two, three, one, two, three. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of ways you can count it. My way, my personal favorite way to count it is one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. So let's count a measure of 16th notes and a measure of eighth note triplets. Let's just count the eighth note triplets. Let's start with that. So here we go. <laughs> One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a All right, sorry, I gotta play with my hands so you can hear me speak and count that at the same time. If I was to play with my sticks, it would just be way too loud. So let's do that again, but let's play a measure of 16th notes or count a measure of 16th notes, count a measure of triplets. So this way it's kind of letting you be a little bit more free and experimental with your drum fills and what you wanna play. Now you can combine this stuff with rudiments and move it all over the drum set and play on your toms, it doesn't matter. But we're just, the focus of this lesson is to exercise and predetermine our subdivisions before we actually try to pull it off on the drum set. So a measure of 16th notes, measure of 8th note triplets, here we go. Three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one E, and a two E, and a three E, and a four E, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one E, and a two, and a three E, and a four E, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. 
Okay, awesome. Now I know this is really basic and stripped down, but I've ran into a lot of drummers that have been playing a really long time, but they just kind of swept the whole counting thing under the rug and didn't really understand subdivisions. They can play them, but when I hear them play them, they're speeding up and slowing down a little bit, and it's gonna help level things out if you just kind of count and predetermine, premeditate, whatever, those notes in between while you're playing your groove. So that kind of sets you up for a smooth transition. So I appreciate you checking this out today. If you guys want to check out more lessons like this, please subscribe to my site, drummer101.com. I'm offering a free trial. You can sign up for my newsletter to receive free drum lessons or just do the free trial. No credit card needed. So sign up to uh, our Facebook, follow us there, our Twitter, and I'll see you guys later.